EU Parliament wants legally binding ban on unpaid traineeships. Here's a summary of the article. Home news economy labor EU Parliament wants legally binding ban on unpaid traineeships. With your consent, we may also use non-essential cookies to improve user experience, personalize content, customize advertisements, and analyze website traffic. For these reasons, we may share your site usage data with our advertising and analytics partners. By clicking, accept, you agree to store on your device all the technologies described in our cookie policy. You can change your cookie settings at any time by clicking, preferences. This post received a score of 4400, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. One of the schools I went to banned them because they had students literally starving. This is a good move. They hurt long-term earnings as well. When a company looks on your resume and sees that you're willing to work for free, they're going to value your work significantly less. Not in the US. Unpaid internships are there so that the children of the wealthy can hoard opportunities while those who cannot afford them lose opportunities. Then, by meritocratic processes, the people with greater experiences get high-paying positions and acceptances into the top graduate programs. In essence, you can filter for rich kids by having unpaid positions. It's complete BS that countries who claim to be against slavery allow this. Good. Unpaid internships made sense in the past but now it's a system that only helps those that can afford it and for businesses to exploit youth workers. Unpaid internships also never made sense in the past. Well yeah of course they did. But we called it slavery back then and it became increasingly unpopular in the 1800s. I hope they'll force companies to hire young workers then as well. I know for damn sure nobody hired me with or without unpaid internships. Nice. Was doing an internship once to learn welding. Turned out they just needed someone to paint all the things they were fabricating. Ten weeks of painting in a cold shed. Teacher said and did nothing. Owner of the company was his friend. Thank God. And I hope the rest of the world wakes up. Well done, but just a step in the right direction. GOP in US will have a fit. How dare a democratic type organization demand that slavery in any form should end? I worked for a company that once had about a one quarter of its staff as interns. They were paid but so little it was insulting. Clearly being used as cheap labor. I've seen companies run with over half employees being barely paid interns. I hope that includes not allowed to pay them less than minimum wage because Germany is just going to be completely unfazed by this. Some trainees, e.g. barbers, earn like 300 bucks, mo. If they could be included in the min wage maybe it'll make PPL realize if their JPB takes two to three years of training then one buck above min wage is not worth it. When I became an educator in Germany, I earned during the first two years of my training exactly zero. In the third year I earned 10.50 per month after taxes, which was okay for a very small flat and very basic food, but only outside the bigger cities. Living in Cologne I was absolutely depending on my parents, without them my training had not been affordable to me. The salary for educators after the training is also really bad, related to the tasks of this job and the responsibility and passion that is needed to do it. So, actually there are idiots like me who work in these underpaid jobs anyways. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.